What's up guys, Random Racer here with another tech video for you guys today. And today I bring you guys a quick review of the power support air jacket case for the Retina MacBook Pro. So of course without further ado, let's slice this open, see what we get, slap it on the MacBook and give you guys my full in-depth review. So to pop this open, it's pretty simple, just grab one of the sides here, pull the flap out, and the case should just slide out like so. So the first thing you choose with the course is the case itself and a little pamphlet in the middle. Inside this cardboard here is rubber feet for the case as well as the instructions on how to put it on. Taking a closer look at the case, the air jacket case is a crystal clear polycarbonate case with a very nice polished glossy finish. To install the case on the MacBook is very simple. First off, we'll start with the top piece. Ensure your MacBook's free of dust and debris. Just grab a cloth, wipe everything off. Grab the top piece here. Make sure the front clip is facing the front of the MacBook. Place it down and snap it in place. Next, we're going to install the bottom piece. Just like the top, just snap it into place. And you're pretty much good to go. Power support also includes these little suction cup rubber feet here. Basically, the case doesn't have rubber feet built in, unfortunately. So all I have to do is just grab the rubber feet here, place it on top, push down, and it pretty much stays on via suction. So taking a quick overview of the case and what it has to offer, obviously this is the clear model here. Power support does also offer a black version, which from the uh, website looks like more of a tinted version of the clear model here. And of course, having a clear case on gives the MacBook a lot more kind of shiny, more attractive look to it, while still showing off that iconic silver design. One unique feature I want to point out to you guys is the clip system that Power Support uses to attach the case to the MacBook. Rather than using small little clips that are about the length of your thumb, like in case Spec and Moshi use, Power Support's clip system, clip system is a little bit different, as their clips actually extend the majority of the length of each side of the MacBook. It's a little bit hard to tell in the video because they're so small, but you guys can see it starts to curve up just a little bit and extends all the way to the end of the MacBook. Power Support designed these clips to be long and seamless to ensure that it doesn't affect the look of the MacBook, helps seal it a little bit better so dust and debris doesn't get in between the case and the MacBook, yet still thin enough that it still holds on to the MacBook, but also easy to take off as well. Moving on to the left side of the case, we do have a single large cutout to give you full access to your MagSafe, two Thunderbolt ports, a USB port, as well as a cutout for the headphone jack. The front has a precise cutout for the thumb opening. We have full access to the SD card reader, HDMI port, as well as the USB 3.0 port on the right side here. The bottom of the case, of course, is all covered up with the plastic material, in addition to the three individual cutouts to match the intake vents on the MacBook. And the last thing I want to throw at you guys is Power Support managed to make this case so thin at 1.2 millimeter thickness that they're able to actually cover the back corners here, which most other case companies could not do because their cases were too thick. So there's a quick look to the Moshi case on the top here. You guys can see they had to cut this area out to allow the display to pass through because the case is too thick. But power supports was thin enough that the display can pass through around this without touching the case. Therefore, it can protect that area. Overall, guys, the first impressions of the power support air jacket for the 15-inch Retina MacBook Pro is very positive. The case is well designed and fits perfectly on the MacBook with all clips attached in place with no sagging. The polycarbonate material power support uses feels high quality and durable. Coupled with a very nice polished glossy finish, it's fairly scratch resistant for a glossy case thus should keep that shiny new look well over time. The clip system is very unique and different from the other three major brands, giving a seamless look, sealed edges from dust and debris, yet still making it not difficult to remove. At 1.2mm thick, the case is able to cover all four sides without adding too much weight to the MacBook. In terms of the cons or changes I would make to the case, I'd definitely recommend Power Support to add a matte version along with the glossy version for those of you who want to mimic the matte or prefer the matte finish of the original MacBook. Also, the only other design change I'd really recommend is consider having built-in rubber feet as these user-applied rubber feet tend to fall off pretty easily. With the retail price of $79 off of Power Support's website, it's around $25 more than the three other major brands, which normally retail for around $50 at the Apple Store. Whether or not it's worth the extra money, I definitely recommend spending the extra over spec and in case at least for a Moshi or Power Support brand, as both are better designed in both looks and function, in addition to a much better clip system from my past experience from using all four brands. In conclusion, guys, if you're looking for a high quality clear case for your Retina Map of Pro and want something to keep the look of it without covering it up with colors or adding a whole lot of bulk, you definitely can't go wrong with the air jacket case from Power Support. Anyways, thanks for watching guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and as always, I'd like to thank Power Support for shooting this out for review. Hit that like button, as always, helps me out, and I'll see you all in the next video.